I'm criminal defense attorney Ryan Pasiga, and I'm going to talk about Minnesota's criminal vehicular homicide law, in particular the gross negligent par negligence part of it. There's a couple ways that you can be charged with criminal vehicular homicide. One is obviously if you're drinking and driving and you're over the limit or impaired or, or you're impaired by uh, drugs, whether they're prescription drugs uh, or uh, street drugs. But there's another one, and this is more of the dis distractive driving sort of line, and, and that's criminal vehicular homicide gross negligence. That statute number is 609.2112, and what the government has to prove beyond a reasonable doubt is, first, that you acted in a grossly negligent manner when you were driving. Second, that you caused the death of uh, whoever else was in the vehicle, other vehicle or your vehicle or a pedestrian. And third, that it happened in whatever county you're charged in on that date and time. The term gross negligence is defined by Minnesota law, and I'll read the definition for you. In a grossly negligent manner means with very great negligence or without even scant care, which basically means the smallest tidbit of care. And that doesn't really do us a lot in terms of figuring out what that means exactly. I mean, that's such a uh, vague definition that it's hard to put that in perspective, I think, for a jury. Um, so there are some cases that have construed or interpreted that definition that gives lawyers some guidance that we can then provide to judges and, and ultimately to juries in that situation. First, there would be some times that prosecution would try to charge someone for a gross negligence criminal vehicular homicide simply for falling asleep at the wheel. Generally speaking, Minnesota courts won't do that. There's not a, a certainty that you could never be charged with gross negligence for falling asleep at the wheel, but there have been cases that have gone through our appellate courts and our Minnesota Supreme Court that have said merely falling asleep at the wheel isn't enough to be guilty of uh, gross negligence for a criminal vehicular homicide. Um, there is some long language in these cases, but I'll read a couple of my favorite parts to help people get some guidance here. First of all, um, that when they're describing gross negligence, they talk about an aggravated character distinguished from a mere failure to exercise ordinary care. It is very great negligence or the absence of slight diligence or the want of even scant care. So that comes out of one of our cases that's been around for quite some time, since 2005. And the other part of that is that when they talk about gross negligence, they say that is manifestly smaller amount of watchfulness and circumspection than the circumstances require of a person of ordinary prudence. Ordinary and gross negligence differ in degree of inattention. So when they look at these cases, they don't just look at what happened during the accident itself, but rather what led up to that in terms of the gross negligence. What was the driver doing or not doing that led them to be grossly negligent if they're going to accuse someone of that, as opposed to regular negligence. Regular negligence is not gross negligence, and regular neg negligence is not criminal vehicular homicide. You have to be grossly negligent, and a government has to prove that beyond a reasonable doubt that you were grossly negligent for them to charge you or convict you of that particular statute. If you have more questions about criminal vehicular homicide and in particular the gross negligence charge if you're charged with distracted driving for example that leads to a death or a serious bodily injury that's criminal vehicular operation they're they're very close together there you can always give me a call at 612-339-5844 or find me on the web at arrestedmn.com. Thank you.